Ned Corliss. LeMoyne leads the all-time series 6-3, to 3-0 three, three here in Syracuse. And uh, Central Connecticut has also played a couple other games here at Syracuse, but uh, not against LeMoyne. Here's Cleary driving baseline, well defended, kicks it back out to Salter. He eyes a three-pointer, and that one's good to break the seal. So Getting the start for the injured Derek Jones Jr. Well, Cleary, chest pass to, uh, to DePersia, and he has a lane to the goal and scores with the left hand. DePersia, who did not score in the last game, is able to connect on that nice drive, and LeMoyne's back on top by two. Team LeMoyne is faced that's playing zone. Salter back out to Cleary. Top of the key, three for the lead. It's good. Three-pointer for the Dolphins gives them a 14-12 lead. Hard to McClure shows ball, now finds Fouts. Top of the key, Salter. Left alone, three in the air, and good. Boy, now it's a three-point festival between the two teams. Isaiah Salter in the spot starts. Got eight to lead LeMoyne. Cleary drives baseline, has position, and slams it down with two hands. Used a nice screen by Luke Sutherland to get a clear path to the basket for a CAD slam, courtesy of CAD Dimensions, built like a football player. Second shot is also no good. Rebound by Salter. Long baseball pass to Cleary, and wow, that clock went off really quickly. For LeMoyne. Yeah, Dolphins won by 12. Dolphins have first possession of the second half, moving from left to right on your screen in the home white. Top of the key three for the tie by Luke Sutherland is good, and we got a brand new ball game. Luke Sutherland's first three, his team best 50th of the season, and we're all even at 30. Salter behind the arc. Here's a three for the lead by Sutherland. Bullseye! Luke Sutherland with 13 to lead all scorers, and the Dolphins are back on top, 40 to 37 into the corner and Dantzler well defended good recovery defense by Su Central Connecticut but Dantzler bangs a three off the right wing on the return pass with one second on the shot clock five for AJ Dantzler so both teams score with one second on the shot clock and Lemoyne has its largest lead of six back to the basket double team comes he fires a pass out of it and it's loose and it's stolen by Lemoyne here's Dantzler finding Cleary for the mini slam dunk Kai Cleary with the transition basket. He's got 15. Three players with 15 in the game now. 57-56 with under four minutes to go. Cleary passes left side to Dantzler. Dantzler drives baseline. Finds a seam and lays it up and in with the left hand. A.J. Dantzler with nine off the bench. Dantzler still dribbling. Finds Sutherland on the left wing. Bounce entry to Cleary. Cleary, turnaround jumper, good for the tie! Kai Cleary with a big time jumper. He's got 17 to lead the Dolphins and we're all even at 60. 15 seconds to go in the second half, or actually on the shot clock. And because LeMoyne has six fouls, they can't go for the steal here and play aggressively that would put Central Connecticut at the line. Jones behind a Gene Rose screen. Lost the ball! It's stolen by McClure. Up ahead to Sutherland who lost the ball back and we go to overtime! Wow! For the first time this year, LeMoyne will play bonus basketball. This will jump center. And the Dolphins win the tap. They're still moving from left to right on your screen. Seven seconds to shoot. Kai Cleary, he's got to do something with it here. Five seconds. Tough fall away jumper. Good from the baseline. And LeMoyne's up one. Kai Cleary, who missed a jumper. And missed a free throw, now has 20 to lead LeMoyne. The Dolphins are back up one on the seesaw. Hill last weekend, and we'll be playing them again here on Saturday at 2 o'clock. Don't forget Fan Saturday Scout Day, Beeville Band Day, and the 75th anniversary of men's basketball here at LeMoyne. A jump pass to Gene Rose. He dribbles, back to the basket, right blocks, working on McClure, spins, the shot is short, rebound by Dantzler, he cradles it, with 10 seconds to go, he's fouled. A.J. Dantzler playing with the four fouls and being brilliant off the bench with 11 points will go to the line where he can essentially put Lemoyne in the driver's seat if he makes two. He's six, four, six for six at the line today. First shot is up, and good. Dantzler, the freshman, only the third in league play. One more shot for Dantzler would give LeMoyne a two-possession game with 10 to lead. And it's good. Eight of eight from the line. And he's got a Baker's dozen. 
The Dolphins lead 68-64 in overtime, and LeMoyne calls its last time out. They do have to score on this possession. Inbounds to Jones. Jones speed dribbles into the front court. Hands off to Ostrowski. Three is in the air, and it's an air ball. Goes out of bounds with 3.2 to go, and LeMoyne should have this one wrapped up. Okay. Second shot is up, and no good. Gene Rose the rebound, and that's it. And DePersia didn't mind that it was no good. The clock started as soon as Gene Rose touched it. Dolphins win it 69-64. to They pull the upset, sweep the season series from Central, and knock them out of first place as the Dolphins win it 69-64. to